mean, it's an honor to be uh, inducted into the College you know, Basketball Hall of Fame, uh, to be inducted with the likes of you know, Shane Battier, uh, Larry Johnson, Lute Olson, uh, Rick Majerus. I mean, that's a very high esteemed class, and I'm just lucky to be a part of it and happy to be a part of it. What was it like for you to be back and uh, be a part of so much? You know, you, you know, the fantasy team, be a part of that, you're back here, Bruce, you're there, you've been back a lot. Yeah, yeah, like I said, just like showing support for the program. Like I said, it never gets old. I mean, I love, uh, you know, I've been removed from Indiana basketball in terms of graduation you know, for 20, 25, 26 years. So, but I always uh, want to come back because uh, the program is very, very important to me. And uh, I just want to help out any way I can. I think, like I said, in terms of development, it's given an opportunity. Uh, like I said, I mean, he's just his third year in, and hopefully, like I said, we'll, I think he'll get some things done. Just a matter of him developing the kids, getting the kids he wants, and uh, then we can go from there. And then, uh, but I think he's done, a, he's done a good job at this point. Uh, and hopefully, this season will be an indicator of that. What do you like that you've seen so far? Uh, just the way he, he, like, he great defensive minded coach, really does a good job defensively. Uh, and I think he's done a great job of recruiting kids within the uh, within the state. But at the same time, I mean, he does a great job recruiting in general. And uh, so hopefully, like I said, within the next uh, you know couple, you know year or two, uh, hopefully we can see some things. And, and uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm anxious for this year. I'm anxious for him to do. A, I'm anxious for this season. See how this team turns out. Uh, but the key thing with me is like you know I'm a, I'm a big development guy, developmental guy, developing kids. And uh, I think he's done a good job of doing that. When you talk about development, what are some of the? I mean, you've been on coaching staffs at this level. What are some of the most important things? Oh, just getting it better in your all-around game. Like I said, there's no, there's no, there's no secret formula for getting better except good old-fashioned hard work, work ethic, and uh, I, that on top of you know, obviously you know, the, the game has has changed and and, and uh, changed over the years, but the objective stays the same in terms of like you got to get out there and you got to work on your game. And uh, he, he's got, I think he's got some guys out there that really want to get better. And, same time, not only as individuals but as a team, and uh, you know, we all, we all know the team and chemistry. Team, team chemistry is huge uh, at any level of basketball. So if we can get that going, I think the, the, like everything's going to be in good shape. I mean, I'm really excited to see what they can, what they can do this uh, this season. You watched uh, 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 Trace Jackson protected, put your jersey on in the dunk competition. What's it like for you? Uh, that's you know, that's I mean, that's a tremendous gesture. I appreciate him and everything. Uh, I'm not sure I would have been able to do that type of dunk, but. but uh, but I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate the guys. Uh, and, uh, like I said, I look forward to this season. Fans have been asking, what's going on these days? Can you just update them? Yeah, yeah, I'm working for the Atlanta Hawks program. I'm, I'm an assistant coach with the G League, the College Park Skyhawks. So uh, we've been, uh, came in came in town uh, yesterday, got to turn around and leave tomorrow. So I uh, really enjoy doing it. Like I said, I'm a, I really like developing kids, helping develop them. And, and uh, look forward to this season for us. somebody will. I mean, breakers are made to be broken. You know, I had an old saying goes, breakers are made to be broken. So somebody will get there. But like I said, with the current current state of, uh, of, the, of the league right now, everybody leaving after one year, especially the, the, the higher tier players. Uh, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that will that, that, have a shot at it. Uh, if not, if not uh, sooner, maybe later. There's a lot of talk about whether the age limit should be dropped, name and image and likeness, that sort of thing. 
as somebody who works with young players, who works a lot in developing young players, where do you see kind of the future of the, the, the relationship between the college and the program? Well, me personally, I, I would like to see uh, them come straight out of high school again. Uh, because uh, it gives them an opportunity. I mean, I think if they're ready to go, there's really no need for them to stay a year. Just go ahead and just and go, and go play in there. And the, the G League is trying to incorporate this deal where they, you know, if you decide you want to leave, uh, you can come to the G League and play for $125,000 and develop the game there. But, but uh, for me personally, I just think, you know, just let them leave straight out of high school. Uh, I don't think there's, there's no need for a one and done type of scenario. Uh, uh, that's about all I can say about it. Got one more question back here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mike was on earlier. Sorry, right? Can you just comment on your your hopes for this team? Obviously, Trace uh, flattering you with a little imitation. Yeah, today. yeah, I, mean, I really do appreciate that. No, I mean I'm really looking forward to the, to seeing their development over this season. Uh, you know, Archie said they have a chance to def definitely be in a special team. And I look forward to seeing that. Uh, like I said, I'm always going to be a supporter of this Indiana program, and uh, I'm going to be supportive of Archie and his staff. And, and, uh, and everybody that's, that's associated with it. So, uh, like I said, I look forward to seeing how they do this season.